right, this is the finished result of our chicken and dumpling stew. We're getting ready for the fall days, y'all. Getting ready. Uh, this is already September, so I want to do something to bring on the fall. I made the dumplings homemade. You can make them different kind of ways, but I like to make mine like this too. Now I like to make them when they are a little. Um, when you roll them out and put them on, I love them too. This right here, you don't need no bread with it. This is delicious. And look at this. Look at the uh, broth and the carrots and the chicken. I put a little, little bit of curry and just a little bit in this. A little bit of rosemary in the dumplings. This tastes really good. You can put anything you want in your dumplings. This is Sandy. I'm going to tell you how to eat it and get this recipe off of soulfoodqueen.net. And I'll show you how to do these delicious wonderful dumplings y'all they are fantastic what's the sound of make them come to my channel mm, i haven't eaten oh they are so good hi this is sandra i'm here again with another recipe and this recipe is my down home cooked chicken and dumplings yes indeed i'm gonna make you my version of down home chicken and dumplings i got two recipes or three recipes that i like cooking but this is one is my favorite. And this one right here, I have chicken thighs. I'll show you what they look like. You see this skin right here? You need to take that skin out, but you need to, to skin to get that good taste broth. So we're gonna take that skin off and we'll be right back and show you what we're gonna do next. With some homemade chicken and dumplings. All right, we got the chicken skin removed. And you see this broth right here? We're going to skim this broth off and we're going to make a little um, roux with this so we can put it back into this. But what we're going to do now is add some onion, bell pepper, and garlic. Excuse me. You can put garlic in if you want to. And I do not put most of the garlic into the chicken dumpling, but if you want, you can. But we're going to put onion bell pepper and celery. Some people don't want bell pepper in theirs. But you can just put it in just like this. And we're gonna let that simmer for about a good 10 minutes and we're gonna spoon off the uh, broth like that. The little all looking things like that. The little uh, fat. We're gonna put it in a bowl like that and we're gonna make a little roux. We'll be right back. Alright. I got about two tablespoons of self rising flour and I got a tablespoon full of cornstarch. In this recipe you're going to need salt, you're going to need some green beans, you're going to need some carrots, you're going to need some self rising flour, you're going to need two eggs, two eggs, two eggs right there, black pepper, you need black pepper, and you're going to need buttermilk. And this is the self rising flour right here to make the dumplings. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to stir this up as a little roux. We're going to make a little roux, and this little roux is going to go into the dumpling broth. The broth is really rich, y'all. It tastes really, really good. Now, this gives a little thickness to it. Now, you can use uh, cream of chicken soup if you like, but I'm just doing the old-fashioned way, the way we do it. And it tastes really good. Everybody make chicken dumplings different. Like I said, long as they're good, hey, I don't care how you make them, long as they turn out good, that was the whole key of making some chicken dumplings, long as they turn out good. So right here, I'm going to add some black pepper and a little salt, well, not no salt, but just a little black pepper, and I'm going to put this into the broth. And in the broth, we got the uh, uh, celery, the bell pepper, and the onions. I don't know why I was going to do that. So we got that in there. So what we're going to do now is just pour this into the liquid to get a little broad taste. But what I'm going to do now, while the celery and the onions and the bell pepper have cooked, I'm going to pour in the carrots and the green beans and we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, when I put the little roux in there, it made it real thick. See there with the um, cornstarch and the flour roux, we got the... Uh, top of the broth from the uh, the top of the 
you know, the cell of the uh, fat. And you see, we have made a little thickness to it. See that? That's a good thickness. And when we put those dumplings in there, it's going to be just right. I add some more black pepper and a little bit of black pepper. And I'm getting ready to show you how to do the dumplings. I'm going to let this simmer and cook till these green beans get kind of done. And the vegetables, those are carrots. Now, you don't have to add that in yours if you want. I'm just adding a little in mine because I like to make it a stew like a chicken and dumpling stew. And you can put any ingredients you want here, but I like to put a little carrot powder in mine. Just a touch. Just a touch of carry powder. Just a touch. Not that much. Just a touch in mine. Now, you don't have to put that in yours if you want to, but I put a little carry in mine. Just a little, but not that much. Just a little. Okay? And we're going to show you how to make the dumplings. All right. We got about two cups of flour. We got sour cream. I'm going to add some rosemary because I like a little rosemary taste. Just a little. Now, you don't have to put it in yours. I'm telling you, you don't have to put it in yours. If you don't want, I'm going to put about two things of oil, about, you see, you see me putting the oil, about three tablespoons of oil, and I'm going to mix some buttermilk with it, just like that, the buttermilk, and then I'm going to add the two eggs, I'm going to add the two eggs, just like that, and I'm going to stir this together, and we'll be right back. All right, I have it all blend together and make sure it's in a consistency like this. You want it just like that. Now, like I said, everybody make their dumplings a whole lot different, but that's what the world is about. It's your taste and your preference and how you want them. Now, I want you to see how thick this has gotten. And look how beautiful this is. This is beautiful. Look at the chicken. I the chicken on the bone. That's the chicken thighs. I left them on the bone. And then the vegetables is about done because you're going to let this stay in about, the dump is about um, 10 minutes. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do a dollop, dollop, just like that. I'm going to dollop like that in different areas to make them big or small. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to come right back. All right, you see how they're rising? We're going to let them cook. And uh, cook them about 10 minutes and put a lid on top and let them cook by 10 minutes and we'll be right back with the finished results. All right, this is how they look. They are done. Got the little tip like that. You know they're done. And what I usually do, I just merge mine inside like that and let them get that, that creamy on top of it. Just like that, y'all. Now you can garnish these with what you want. Whatever you want, you can garnish them with. And I just do mine like that. And then I'll show you what the end result is when we get through cooking them. Okay? This is how they look. This is my way of doing some dumplings. And I think you'll love this way too. All right. This is the end result of our chicken and dumpling stew. I hope y'all will enjoy this recipe as much as me and my family do. Now, I like a lot of black pepper in mine. I don't know about y'all, but I love a lot of black pepper in mine. So it's ready, it's done, it's ready to be served. And I'm going to do a presentation and let you see what it looks like. 